we place a land mass that is approximately the size of France. It's two thirds of the province of Ontario, stretching from Thunder Bay to Hudson's Bay and the Quebec border to the Manitoba border. This is the one detachment that we have in all of NAN's area out of our 35 detachments that currently satisfies all of the requirements of the National Building Code for police facilities. We have detachments that uh, up until recently were still uh, being used with 45 gallon drums as wood stoves. We have uh, locking mechanism, uh, mechanisms that could be described as being medieval in that uh, they are two by four across uh, two other pieces of wood to close a uh, door. This is our other cell. As you can see, this door here is just a normal bedroom door. Not very secure at all. Anyone determined enough could kick through it, no problem. Again, all, uh, all plywood on the inside of the cell. Obvious uh, fire hazard here. Back in 2005, a major uh, fire occurred in the, um, in the uh, jail facility in the community of Kasachuan. Two, uh, two persons who were detained were uh, perished, perished in that fire. Um, one of the officers, officers was, uh, was burned very seriously in this attempt to, uh, to rescue those, uh, those uh, persons who were, who were detained. And this happened for one basic reason, that there is no funding to be able to provide for a quality police station in that community. How many more people will die because the facility that they were in did not meet basic standards. When I graduated from Ontario Police College in Elmer, my first detachment or deployment was Wanaman Lake. The detachment there is fairly old. The windows are cracked. Um, it was a two cell detachment. No running water in the cells. We used buckets for our prisoners. My morning ritual after uh, a weekend of prisoners was to empty slop buckets. In May of 2007, I was transferred to this detachment, and as you witnessed, it's a beautiful detachment. But then I compare it to what the OPP has. In pretty well the same situation, we're still isolated in the same community. This is the general uh, constable's area. Just off to my left is uh, my office, the detachment commander's office. This is where our officers would sit, including our sergeant. We don't have a separate office for him at this time, but uh, six officers share this space. So we have uh, shower facilities for the officers that they need to change here, and we have it set up for both the females and the uh, males have lockers. This is our one bathroom that we all share, as well as our guards. In this room is uh, where we do our fingerprinting. Our fingerprinting is uh, in our photographs of the individuals. We use this mechanism. We tape it to our table, and that's where we fingerprint them. This room is our guard's room. Each cell is recorded, and uh, we keep the tapes for a certain period of time before they're recorded over. We do not have any video cameras. So our guard sits right in this area with the prisoners, and monitors our prisoners through these windows. Anybody that wants to speak to their lawyers are allowed to use this uh, phone booth um, to make their telephone calls and speak in private. This room here is, we use it for storage for property bins, but it's also used as the area where we let them call their lawyer. It's the, a private area for them to speak to duty counsel or lawyer. That's it for our detachment. Welcome to Mishki Gaming Detachment. <laughs> so this is our, just our general storage for, uh, for all of our paper and our envelopes, etc. An interview room that's set up with uh, video equipment, breathalyzer room, property vault, the drug vault, scenes of crime office. Just another storage facility. Our uh, cleaning person has her own storage room uh, that she uses for storing all the, all the cleaning supplies. This is uh, our fitness room. 
Pickle Lake has a population of approximately 375 people and the OPP there by September of 2007 will have seven officers and one sergeant, so eight officers in total. We have five officers and one sergeant and we police 900 people on the reserve territory. To me it just doesn't make sense that we have triple the population and less manpower to police them.